All right, this is uh, April 8th, and this will be your lecture three. So the first lecture would have been the, the talk uh, from Admiral McRaven, then the last lecture on rhythms, uh, routines, and return. And then this lecture, we're going to move a little bit further into the authentic self. So we talked a little bit about the imposter and how the imposter, the shadow side of our lives, as a result of the failing stories of our lives, have left us clinging to things like shame and insecurity, um, anger, indifference, those elements that we spoke about when we talk about the shadow side. But I want to talk about how formation is a move towards leading us into uh, the fullness for which we've been called and created. And it's really about stepping into the authentic self, the, the self for which we've been created, the self that leans into our unique verse and our authentic swing, that that, that self that, that recognizes that we've been fearfully and wonderfully made. And I want to talk a little bit about what that self looks like. And we're going to talk about a biblically centered understanding of what the authentic self is really about. And so if you look at the bottom of that, that center of notes, you're going to see um, it's going to talk to you a little bit about every meta story seeks to shape our cells conducive to that story. And I'm going to talk about spiritual formation. I'm going to talk about really the, the formative, uh, biblically-centered understanding of the authentic self. And so I want, I want to make our way through a, a list of terms here that I think are going to really help us to understand what it means to be authentic. So the authentic self, according to the Bible, is rooted in God's intention for humanity. And what we discover early on, and, and one of the most significant things that I, I want to say is that early on we come to realize in Genesis chapter 1 that the authentic self is made in the image of God. So all of us, regardless of who we are, where we come from, bear in us the dignity of knowing that we are the, Im in the image of God. And I think that is important. I'm going to come back to that in the end when I talk about how the image of God is actually rooted in who we are as a people together. Uh, but I want to move into chapter 2 of Genesis, and I want to talk about how um, the Bible says that our authentic self is in, in nature fragile. So we've been made from the, the dust of the earth. In fact, in, in the Bible it talks about in the Hebrew that, that the ha'adam, the human, is made from adamah. It's this beautiful Hebraic poetry. And it talks about how we are, we are made from the dust of the earth, which means if you're made from dust, that means you're fragile, you're dusty, right? And so fragility is is by nature who we are in our authenticity. We prefer invincibility. That's why I think that the death strikes us so hard, especially in, in the West. Because in the West, we've, we've become very good at avoiding death. Now, there are third world countries all across this world where death is a daily part of the rhythms of life. And yet we are always surprised and shocked by it because we're told in our culture that we can sort of back our way into it and not deal with it or we're invincible from it or we don't have to think about it. But, but I want to say that part of who we are is that fragility. That fragility reminds us of humility of who we are. That fragility does not take things for granted. That, that fragility roots us back into the nature of what it means to live and exist in this world. It's not something to be feared. It's something to be embraced as the reality of who we are in our authentic self. Uh, then it says that this that that after we've been formed from the dust of the earth, we had a, we had a, a form of being, but no real life in us. That way, so God tips our head back and He breathes into our nostrils. I love that image. And in the breathing into our nostrils, we become nefesh. Now, nefesh in the Hebrew, really, it has the connotation of throat. So when you think about throat, I want you to think about like a, a bird with its throat outstretched to be fed by its mom. So it's saying that in our authentic being. Now, this is amazing. So. Not only are we fragile, but we are needy, right? So, so we are, and, and again, in a culture that says we're independent, that we, that 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 we can take care of ourselves, that we are self-made men and women, that's actually contrary to our authentic self. And one of the things that we're learning during this pandemic is how reliant. It